What is your name? My name is Antoine Compagnon. Amazing. So tell me a little bit about why you're getting your doctorate tonight. Well, I don't know. You should ask them why they... Well, I'd me. like to know what, no. uh, you, what you do and where you're from. I am a professor of French and comparative literature, both uh, in Paris, where I taught at the Sorbonne and at the Collège de France. Uh -huh. And I'm also a professor at Columbia University in New York. So I've been teaching for 40 years, both in New York and in Paris. Wow. And now, I've also been uh, uh, elected a member of the Académie Française, so it's... Um, Congratulations, so that's amazing. These are the reasons, I guess, why they uh, chose me. And I've been in contact with the University of Tel Aviv for many years, uh, both at the Sorbonne and at, and at the Collège de France. We had uh, agreements with the University of Tel Aviv, so I've been working in close contact with uh, this university for a long time. So tell me a little bit about the nature of your work. You know, when, what are you doing with the literature and what kind of collaborations have come to fruition that have benefited, I would say, mankind? So um, uh, initially I worked on the Renaissance. So I, I worked on Montaigne, who is a quite famous French writer of the 16th century. And um, my work is also on modern French literature, meaning, let's say, from Baudelaire to Proust, from the middle of the 19th century to the early 20th century. So uh, what is uh, interesting about uh, teaching literature is that it uh, teaches uh, everything, life, love, uh, arts, the arts, uh, uh, living and dying. I mean, literature is an experience that uh, teaches uh, you uh, how to live uh, better. I mean, it's reading. Reading, so reading, of course, is important, and then there's scholarly reading, which is uh, what I do because I'm a scholar of literature. So uh, I, you you keep the pleasure of reading when you do it in a scholarly fashion, but you really have to maintain both sides of reading, both uh, the science and the the pleasure. Wow, I wish my, I hope my children are watching this, the art and the science of reading. It is so important what you just said for our youth for sure today. So tell me, last question, when you think about a message to the youth of today who might aspire to be like you, to be a well-known, famous professor receiving an honorary doctorate tonight at Tel Aviv University, what is the message that you would give them? To keep reading. What is important is reading. And of course, reading is very vulnerable in today, today, because reading requires concentration, solitude, attention, and uh, re reading possesses you. So you, it's really, you have to protect it nowadays. And it's uh, when you read that you realize uh, who you are and who you want to be and who you will be. So I'm really insisting that the message is that we should keep reading. And we can keep reading in books that are physical books, but also, of course, uh, digital books nowadays. Digital reading counts. The digital reading is... is I, 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 I defend all sorts of reading. Amazing. Well, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you.